This is a standing rotational pull here. So with this exercise, you can see we've got the resistance set at a height at about chest level here. My feet are squared forward. I'm standing sideways to the resistance, and my hips are gonna remain squared forward as I rotate through here. Shoulders still stay back and down. I'm not letting my shoulder rotate through and get up close to my ear, or pulling out of a forward out of alignment. Shoulders still stay back, and that's gonna isolate the rotation of your upper torso there. So by keeping my head and my hips forward and my shoulders back, I'm really only isolating how far my upper torso can rotate. If I wanna cheat this, I can bend an elbow, I can get a shoulder out of alignment, and I can get the cable way over here, and now I have, my, my chest is not rotated that far, just my arms are over there, and then I can pull them into position and then rotate the torso. That would be cheating. Squared back, up tall, shoulders break, shoulders set, and uh, so your hand is basically remaining straight out in front of your midline of your chest. So wherever your chest points, that's where the arm is going. If you want, you can rotate your head with that. Just don't make yourself too dizzy. You can isolate more rotation if you keep your head forward through the rotation here. If it's a bit too hard and you don't wanna have to go change the cable, the resistance, you can put your hands a little bit closer here and just do a smaller pull. Okay, and you can change the distance that your hands are off of your chest here to get a different amount of resistance and how much pull you're getting. Ideally, set that uh, resistance to a point where you can have your arms straight and really isolate nice long pulling rotation of your rotational core there. So that is your standing rotational pull.